You already know what it is, what it ain't, and what it's going to be. It's your boy, Mr. B Rockstar. If you didn't know, you're a rock star as well. Today's message. Today's message. Yes, we're going live. Let me refresh everybody if you're new. Uh, we go live every single day, drop a performance gem using performance science. This week, we're talking all about waking the spirit. And I want to kind of continue what I talked about yesterday, or was it the day before yesterday? Actually, hold up. Happy holidays, y'all. Hey, what's going on? My voice is a little bit gone. You know what I'm saying? I was watching the game last night. I really was the drunk uncle last night. If you didn't know, I'm Mr. B Rockstar, spoken word professional expert and CEO. But more importantly, I'm a loving son, and I was the drunk uncle at the cookout last night. All right, now that we got that out the way, uh, waking the spirit. That's what we're talking about, y'all. The last time we got on this live real short live we talked about um why you get nervous in front of people because when you practice you don't practice in front of people let's dive deeper into what people actually means right these are your early loyal listeners you need early loyal listeners in your life let me describe some of these early loyal listeners so what i do is I have a small test group of people who will hear my stuff before I put it out to the world, right? And it's usually three different types of people. The first type of person is like my cousin Milk. You know what I'm saying? Milk is like another set of B-Rock eyes. He's got this kind of creative genius thing going on. He's like, yo, you should move this part over here. Why don't you put that part over there? I don't know when you, I don't know if I understand what it and he's gonna bring something to the to the piece that I wasn't seeing before, right? The second type of person uh would be like my dog Queens. Queens is going to use every fiber in his body to find something fucked up about the poem. And before it used to make me uncomfortable, but it's a good uncomfortable. Sometimes you need that type of uncomfortability from certain people. Uh, then the third type of person would be somebody like my little sis here in the A. Uh, well, a lot of my family lives here in the A now, but uh, my little sis specifically has no stake in the game when it comes to spoken word poetry. Don't listen to spoken word poetry. Um, if she's at a spoken word event, it's because I'm there doing spoken word poetry, all right? So when I let her hear it, she has a very outside reference of what it even is. And if she likes it, then I know the community going to go crazy when they hear it, all right? Very, very important that you understand something. You don't want to have just fans giving you feedback. OK, because if you just listen to the feedback of a fan, they're not going to really grow your piece up in a way that it can really grow and be, you know, be uh, effective to other people. Because you you'll get drunk off of what fans are saying and then you go put it on stage and crickets. Right. You want to listen to people who have different perspectives. Right. And on top of that, it, I want you to understand it doesn't really matter what the person is or what their background is or anything as long as you're aware of what their background is like i said when i'm getting feedback from these three different types of people um i know what perspective they're coming from when they're giving me their feedback right so i know what parts to eat which parts to throw back which parts i need to hold on to which parts they might not really you feel me and that's really in life when you're dealing with this whole thing called life you're going to meet people who are going to give you their criticism. They're going to give you their opinions. They're going to give you something to think about. And it's up to you to be able to discern what place they're coming from when they're giving you this information. That's why I want to uh, go live and, and share this information. This performance science I'm reeling is I'm realizing is deeper than just performing on stage. This is about performing in life, y'all. And you have to have early loyal listeners. You have to be aware of what perspective they're coming from when you get this certain type of feedback. Back, all right. I know I look real crazy. I'm about to get to this bread, y'all. It's, it's gloomy and, and, and rainy. I don't like it. Ah, ah. Anyway, uh, we out. I appreciate y'all. Like I said, we do these short lives every single day. Um, tap in with me tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, whenever I do it. Um, appreciate y'all. See ya.